This automation will create a folder for each person on this list and grant them editing rights to their own folder. Although you can manually create folders and grant custom permissions, this can be a pretty time-consuming task and doing it manually increases the chance for error. This list only contains five employees. Imagine if you needed to do this for 50 or more. If you want to learn how to create this time-saving automation, keep watching. This SharePoint list contains a list of employees. I've utilized the people column to hold the name of the employee. This column is a key for the flow. Before I create the automation, I want to add a column that will hold the date and time the folder is created. In the Human Resources Document Library, I'm going to create a folder to store these employee folders. Click on the three dots and click on Manage Access to view the permissions for this folder. To simplify the flow design, I'm going to remove all permissions to this folder prior to creating all the individual employee folders. In Power Automate, we'll create an instant cloud flow. Give your flow a name so you can find it later. Select Manually Trigger a Flow. Add a Get Items action. This action will be used to retrieve the items in the employee list. I'm going to select my site and the employee list. Click on Show Advanced Options. I want to filter this list so it only retrieves items that do not contain a timestamp in the folder created column. We can verify the column name by heading back over to the list. Click on List Settings, then click on the column name. The end of the URL will contain the name we need to put in our filter query field. Enter EQ for equals to and null. I'll initialize two variables. The first one will hold the name of the employee. The next one will hold their email address. I want these employee folders to be created in the employee files folder. I'll use a compose action to specify that folder. Also, if I wanted to reuse this flow in another document library, having the folder name in the compose action makes it easy to edit the folder path. Add and apply to each action. We'll use this to loop through each employee. Set the name and email variables here. Add a create new folder action. I'll select the site and library. Insert the folder path. We'll use the employee name for the folder name. Next, add an action to grant the employee access to their own folder. I'll select the site and library and add the ID from the create new folder action. In the recipients field, I'll insert the email variable. I'll change the role to edit. You can select yes to notify recipients via email or no if you don't want to notify them. I'm going to select no. For the last action, add the update item action. Select the site and list name and the ID from the get items action. We want to update the folder created column with the timestamp the flow was triggered. Save your flow. In the employee files folder, you can see that all my folders have been created and that took only seven seconds. When I view the permissions to my folders, you can see that each employee only has access to their own folder. The URL can be shared or added as a tab to a Teams channel. Because each employee has been granted access to their own folder, when they visit the link or go to the tab in a Teams channel, they will only see their own folder. Because this automation will only run for the items in the list that do not have a value in the folder created column, you can run the flow whenever new employees are added to the list. If you want to learn more about creating automations that will save you time from doing redundant tasks, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.